come to think of it, all three of them aren't exactly pulling their punches to prevent slicing and dicing the alien soldiers here, as he reasons where Nebula could be. Resistance is heaviest near Nebula's flagship. I suspect that's where I'll find her, waiting for me. I won't disappoint her. So, his plan is to fly into Nebula's flagship, guns a-blazing, right where she wants him to, and... what exactly? I guess Silver Surfer's plan is, one, fly right into Nebula's hands, two, three, profits. Brilliant plan, Napoleon! Weren't you the one lecturing the other two a minute ago about being overconfident? A weird energy burst comes from a gun in some green guy's hands that knocks out the Silver Surfer in one blast. We see Nebula herself now, and... Wow. Apparently she's Locutus of Borg with childbearing hips and actually quite an impressive package for a woman. She explains that the weapon was a synaptic disruptor for those who were wondering how some energy weapon could take down someone with the power cosmic. Oh, and she's also wearing a leather jacket for no particular reason with a lightning bolt insignia on it. Because that makes all sorts of sense. Dude, you know what would make Locutus of Borg even more hardcore? If he was wearing a leather jacket, man, you wouldn't even need any dialogue. We'll be all like, dude, I'm wearing a leather jacket. I'm rocking now. And they'd be all like, dude, that is tight. The green guy sadly reports that the synaptic disruptor overloaded and doesn't work anymore. Oh, how dramatically convenient! How do they not just use this gun on all three, or to keep the Silver Surfer at bay? Up, uh, it overloaded! Honestly, it'd be more plausible if the thing's batteries just ran out. Cutting back to Thunderstrike and Warp.